Hi guys, this is Andrew with rockclass101.com. Today I'm excited to announce the launch of our brand new course, An Introduction to Music Theory and Jamming. Now this course will provide you a fundamental understanding of the basics of music theory, but the course goes one step further. This course sets out to bridge the gap between understanding music theory and applying it. Now, a goal for many of us is to have the ability to sit in with other musicians and just to be able to play without limits. But oftentimes in jam situations, we find ourselves playing the same basic stuff as everyone else. So how do we break out of this rut? Well, this is where the course comes in. This course deep dives into teaching you how to add to the music. And the way we're going to accomplish that is by focusing on two aspects of playing rhythm playing and lead playing, which you can also think of as soloing. So before we dive into the details of the course, let's take a look at two of the performance pieces that you'll be learning. Now, both of these performance pieces utilize concepts that are taught in the course. So let's begin by talking about module one. You can think of a module as a chapter, and each chapter contains multiple lessons. So module one will be our introduction to music theory. Now, our first lesson is all about tackling the fretboard. So we're gonna be learning just how many notes there are in Western music and how they function on the fretboard. In the next lesson, we're gonna be talking about the major scale. Now the major scale is the parent scale from which all is derived, Chords and other scales are produced by altering the major scale. So we're going to be learning how the major scale is formed and why it's so important. In our third lesson, we're going to be discussing intervals. Now, intervals are the building blocks of melody and harmony. An interval can be defined as the distance between two notes. In this lesson, we're going to be discussing how this distance is measured. Now, our last lesson discusses the theory behind triads and seventh chords. We're going to be learning how chords are derived from the major scale and what formulas are required to form them. So in module two, we're going to be focusing on expanding your rhythm playing. So in our first lesson, we're going to be focusing on the caged method. Now, the caged method allows you to take five basic chord shapes, C, A, G, F, and D, and it teaches you how to move those shapes throughout the neck so you can play them in five different positions. In essence, what it does is it allows you to break out of the rut of playing chords only in this beginning position on the neck. In our second lesson, we're going to be putting the knowledge we learned from the caged method into action. So this lesson is going to mimic a jam situation in that there are two ukulele players. The first player is going to be playing all those basic simple chords, while the second player is going to be applying the cage method to play those chords in a higher position. In essence, the second ukulele player creates a harmony on top of the first ukulele player. Now this second lesson is a detailed explanation of what happens in our first performance piece for the course. In essence, these two lessons teach you how to break away from playing the same chords as everyone else. Now in our final lesson for this module, we're gonna learn how to alter chords to create a more colorful and complex sound. So module three is all about lead playing. We're gonna be focusing on two approaches for soloing. Approach one is gonna be scale-based, while approach two involves playing changes. Now our first lesson defines what a scale is and how it can be used for soloing. So you're gonna learn how to play the major scale in five positions throughout the neck and how to alter that major scale to produce other scales. Now our second lesson takes an in-depth look at our second performance piece. Now this performance piece uses a minor and a major pentatonic scale for soloing. So we're gonna be examining the difference between both scales and learning how to play the scales in multiple positions throughout the neck. 
We're also going to be analyzing how the solos were crafted and what it takes to create a well-structured solo. So our second approach for soloing involves playing changes. So playing changes means that you're going to play the notes that match the chord being used at the time. In other words, your solo is going to highlight the chord tones. And what that does is it creates a very melodic sound. To comprehend this approach, we're going to be analyzing a 12 bar blues solo. Now this 12 bar blues solo is our third and final performance piece of the course. So guys, that brings us to three performance pieces for the course. So each performance piece will include complete tabs that you can print off and follow along with. You're also going to get a step-by-step -step video lesson. So I'm going to teach you exactly how to play everything in the performance piece. And you're also going to get access to the on-screen tab viewer. Now, this is a really cool feature where you can hit play and watch the tab scroll across in real time. You can highlight bars to loop sections, slow it down to any speed. It's just a great asset in learning these performance pieces that much easier. Finally, we'll be wrapping up the course by talking about where you can go next in your continued study and application of music theory. So guys, as you can see, this is a very thorough course that's intended to help you take that next step in learning music theory understanding it, and applying it to your playing. So I'd like to invite everyone to come check out the course. I think you're gonna love how it's laid out and presented. And if you're not a member of rockclass101.com yet, just take a second to sign up for basic membership. It's 100% free, and you're gonna gain access to four of these lessons in the course completely for free. So guys, thanks so much for watching this video until the end, and I look forward to seeing you in the course.